Thanks for tuning in, guys, and this is another segment of our Through the Bible program here at Calvary St. Joe. I'm Chuck Ryan, and today we're in the book of Ezekiel, and it hasn't been that long since our congregation went through the book of Ezekiel. We're, some of us are still recovering, just a joke. So there are so many things, especially now that we're in the book of the major prophets. Okay, Lamentations ends the Hebrew classification, the book of poetry, and we're now in the realm of major prophets. And so within the span of five to seven minutes, I don't know that I could do justice to prophecy in Ezekiel, but I am fascinated by chapter two for this reason that it deals with Ezekiel's call, his call to ministry. And you know, a lot of times in trying to describe that to somebody, it's very difficult. You, you know, uh, it's gonna be different. For each people but there's going to be a common denominator and we see that in Ezekiel chapter 2. Um, so it says in New King James verse 1, so when I saw it, so it's a, a visual for Ezekiel, um, I fell on my face and I heard a voice of one, capital O, speaking, and he, capital H, said to me, son of man, stand on your feet and I will speak to you. Then the Spirit entered me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. And he said to me, Son of man, I'm sending you to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation as rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed, so that would be a willful sin, a transgression against me to this very day. For they are impudent and stubborn children, I'm sending you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. Here's the kicker, verse 5. As for them, whether they hear or whether they refuse, for they are a rebellious house, yet they will know that a prophet has been among them. You know, I love the reality, the realness of God in his communication. You know, I'm reminded of... Uh, Joshua in the Old Testament where the angel of the Lord appears to him and Joshua's like so are you for us or them and he's like no and God just tells it like it is but the thing that's interesting to me about a calling is that it's not like a one-time notion that flies through your mind like you had a burrito before you went to your to bed it's not like you have a a season for a few weekends where you have a sense that maybe you're supposed to do this or that. Think about a calling because God is speaking to you. He's singling you out. He's talking to you and he considers it important. He wants you to hear, he wants you to understand, and he wants you to be obedient to that call. And that call isn't the call that I'm doing this for my wife or my kids, or for Calvary St. Joe, or that my parents might believe in me, or for any other reason, except the fact that the living God, the one who spoke all things into creation, whether they're seen or unseen, took the time to speak to me, and he continues to do that. And that is heavy, that carries weight, it has teeth. And it's worth you and I going to him and in the quiet of our hearts, in the recesses of getting away from other uh, vyings for our attention and, and saying, God, what, like, like Saul in Acts chapter 9, who are you, Lord? Now we know who he is, but what do you want me to do? And he doesn't tell Ezekiel, hey, you know, you're a smart guy, or hey, Ezekiel, you're talented, or Ezekiel, you're good with people. You know, you have these kind of skill set. He says... I'm going to send you, you're going to speak my word, and the people are going to react in a rebellious manner. It's not about Ezekiel. It's not about his talent. It's not what seminary he went to, if you will. But what it is about is the fact that Ezekiel hears from God, that Ezekiel listens, that he carries these words deep in his heart. He never forgets it, and God uh, will remind him of that again, but just that satisfaction that is available for you and I today 
to seek the Lord and to say, Lord, speak for your, your servant listens. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time in the book of Daniel.